vote is down to six candidates for the next state flag. The redesigned commission has eliminated more than 2,100 submissions, including one that helped convince lawmakers to change the flag after 65 years. Fox 9's Corin Hoggard talked to the man behind that design and the top vote getter, and he's live in Edina with their shared vision for picking the final design. Corin? Kelsey and Randy, both of them started designing new flags long before the legislature said that they had to change it, but now only one of them is still in the running to get up on that flagpole and a lot of others, possibly as soon as February. The next grand old flag from Minnesota will be based on one of these six designs. Brandon Hunt's submission could be considered their early leader with the most votes in the last round. There's a lot of excitement towards it. Gave me a little hope that it, like, it might actually happen. Um, so that was like the surreal aspect of it. Hunt is a designer with a special affinity for flags. Like my favorite Olympic event is the opening ceremony when they all come out with the flags. He designed this flag eight years ago with a blue background representing Minnesota's rivers and lakes. In the middle, a star and a snowflake embracing the North Star and winters, both strongly associated with the state. After Tuesday's decision, he's letting himself dream about seeing his design move from hanging on his stairwell to waving over the Capitol. You'd probably see a tear, I think. The popular Minnesota North Star flag didn't make the cut, but it probably won't disappear. I think the North Star flag, it's changed my life. I was a tax consultant CPA. Now I have a flag store. Lee Harold and Reverend William Becker brought the flag to lawmakers 35 years ago and eventually helped force change. Harold isn't bitter after its elimination, though. He's offered to print the top six flag candidates, and like Hunt, he's hoping to give the commission input on design tweaks. And I hope they, they really look closely at comments because in the end, uh, um, it's the people's flag, and if they use it and, and they like it, it's going to be very successful. Hunt also designed the runner-up to be Rochester City flag, and he designed one of the final five seals in the running to be the new state seal. The legislature will have the final say on all this when they come back in February, but the commission deciding the new flag and seal will give their decision by January 1st. Live in Edina, Corn Hoggard, Fox 9. Several Minnesota